Hey guys, I am here today with you for a small product review. So, as you can see, we're also pointing this out the realm of battle. I thought this was appropriate, but we're going to review some tree kits. Now, I've gotten a selection of tree kits in the mail from my supplier, uh, which is, uh, if you ever want to try and get some of these tree kits, I use scenicexpress.com. Go check them out. They have an amazing amount of uh, terrain-related product. So, first, let's take a look at my regular tree kit that I use. Now, this is Notch brand trees. Uh, now, this particular tree kit is their mixed hardwoods and firs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these out. If you've seen my videos on the um, the Deep Forest set, these are the trees that I use on the Deep Forest set. Now this is what, their, what one of their pine trees comes out looking like. As you can see, it comes with a little base, and it is really nice. Now the cool thing about these is, you know, these are not the end-all, be-all, most realistic trees, but they're affordable. I think a K, uh, one pack of these comes with 25, and it has something. It's something like maybe 20, 22 dollars, something like that. Now, you know, it's easier if you get them in bulk, of course, because then you save on your shipping costs. Shipping is like about eight or nine dollars, I think. I order mine in, in massive bulk, so that's a little different. Then you have their little hardwoods. Now this is one of the smaller hardwoods. As you can see, it has that same sort of flocking texture. And they come in various shapes and sizes, so let's, uh, let's open up this part of the packaging right here, get one of the bigger hardwoods out, and take a look see here. They also stick together a little bit because of the packaging. Now the companies that make these uh, tree kits are based out of Germany and Switzerland, I think. I can't remember if Notch is a German company, I think it is. But, you know, you take a look here. Now, it's it's very simply on a wire. You can actually bend it at times, like, like that. But they come out really nicely. And I've actually shown that you can take these trees, if you look at our uh, the, the Rivendell-inspired fantasy autumn set that I did last summer, uh, that one I actually took these exact trees, and to create an autumn texture, I airbrushed them with an orange to give them that, you know, feel like the leaves are falling. So, that is how these look. So I've actually got quite a few more tree kits to review, so we're just gonna set these off to the side. Let me make sure that these are in the camera. So these are your Notch brand trees, mixed hardwoods and firs. They just came out with something amazing. Check this out. We've got the same thing, except now they have a winter firs set. This, I'm, I'm really excited for these because I saw these and Winter trees are some of the hardest ones to uh, to make look good. So this is the first time that I've opened up one of these. We're going to take a look together and see how these turn out. So, looking at the quality of this, I'm very pleased. I mean, when you consider the price on these, these are very good for tabletop wargaming. Um, if you ever have a hard time finding finding quality trees, these are the best quality that I've ever seen on the market. I've tried different types, and I'm even experimenting today with a new brand, so we'll be opening that up here in a moment. But that is very nice. I'm going to just close that in a little bit. Same exact as the fir tree, and let's grab this one for comparison, except it's got that wintry feel to it. So it's got a subtle touch of the green under it, as you can see, but then it has this nice white flocking to make, give it that winter appearance. So. Let's go ahead and place that one right there, and I'm going to set these off to the side. Next up, and this is because I wanted to get a bunch more of the pines and firs, but unfortunately it would seem that someone had bought out their entire stock, and I have a project that I need to, uh, to finish up, so I bought this brand. This is Hecky. Hecky is a German company as well, and they apparently are a competitor with Knock, Knock, Notch, Knock, however you say that but this is the first time I've ever uh, ordered Hecky trees, so we're going to take a look. This, I ordered two sets of them. Uh, I ordered two packs of the four and three-fourths to six and one-fourth, 18 pieces each. Initially, first thing I will say is that they are about the same price as the notch ones, but you get more with the notch. You get 25 versus 18, so already that is a, uh, a point in notches, uh, not, uh, notches, uh, advantage. Uh, I will say that the packaging on these, they have this nice little box. Um, so let's get this open. Yeah, lots of tape. Lots of tape everywhere. Let's see. 
Here's another one. All right. So the hecky trees. Let's take these out. Ah, uh, yeah. These uh, these are a little rougher. I'm gonna admit. Looks like the packaging on them have left them a little less to be desired. They also don't come with a base. Hmm. I'm not actually very pleased with these. These are actually pretty rough looking compared to the notch trees. That might just be that one. Let's take a couple more of them out and take a look. See. Ooh, these are, yeah, these are not very good quality. I mean, that's, that's pretty rough looking. Wow, that's, that's actually pretty, pretty horrible. Yeah, that is uh, actually not, in my opinion, usable. This is, this is some pretty subpar quality. It looks like You've got a lot of the, the stuff that's coming off of them. Hmm. These will actually take a lot of work to use. So these are not really very good. Well, that's disappointing. Um, I would not recommend that brand after looking at it now. And I actually may contact them because these are pretty subpar quality. And I'm not terribly happy with them. Those are actually uh, not usable at all, in my opinion. Well, I will be making a call to them. I don't know if I got some bad bat a bad batch or something, because then these are also by Hecky. But the thing is, initial first impression, I'm looking at them. They look like trees. I think maybe I might have gotten a bad batch. So let's open up this uh, this second set, because it's the exact same thing, just another box of them. So I'm going to open this one up and inspect it. I may have a bad batch on me here, guys. That uh, that is a little unfortunate, but. This is the thing you do when you're a terrain crafter. Sometimes you, things don't work out the way you had intended. And then you find yourself backed into a corner. Ah, see? See, it's like the top here looks relatively fine, and then it just goes all to pot as it goes further down. Wow, these are actually quite horrible. I don't know if it's just this particular... Uh, type of tree is prone to being this way but or the way they've packaged them or what's going on with this but these are these are pretty freaking horrible they're they're more like they don't even look like trees to be honest with you I would not call these quality that I would use whatsoever well that's gonna be contacting customer service after this video because those are those are pretty pathetic and they do not look anything like they did in the pictures uh, I thinking that they uh, that is possibly a manufacturer error on those maybe maybe they received a bad batch because I know a lot of this stuff they just ship right out now these I got this is actually a really good economy set as well by Hecky and these actually look to be matching the pictures that I saw in the catalog which by the way if you shop with scenic express they'll send you a nice catalog has all sorts of new releases in it these are 50 smaller trees. Now these are only two and two to four inch trees, but there's 50 of them. I got these because, now see these are much higher quality. These actually look like trees. And they're smaller, they don't come with bases, so I'll be honest with you, my initial impressions, even with these being better quality than the other ones, uh, these, uh, I still prefer notch. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'll be contacting them and probably putting in another order of notch trees because uh, I'm not pleased with those at all. Um, but these are really nice because what you can do is like, let's say that you get a bunch of these trees down and uh, you can mix them in and you can have, you know, like, let's just set that there for instance. You can have a bunch of the little ones hanging out. I'll just show you an example. You know, because pine trees aren't all huge, so you can kind of mix them in. So I got this 50 pack to kind of use it on tree projects in the future in general to make it so that you can put everything a little bit more realism to it. You still want the bigger trees like this because it allows uh, more line of sight blocking options so that way larger larger models will be hidden but this allows you to kind of stick them in you can also put them like on models you know just terrain pieces in general like a little tree growing next to a building something something like that 
So anyway, that's a little bit of a product review. I'm a little disappointed that the other Heckies, I really do think this has to be some sort of a batch error on these because these are these are pretty horrible looking. I mean, you know, look at that. That doesn't look like a tree very much. And we'll we'll see what happens with this. Uh, I might experiment with these in some manner. I'm not sure what I'd use them for because they're... See, I'll just go ahead. I'm just going to go through this whole box. I'm going to pull these out and I'm going to take a look. Oh, yeah, look. That's just... All of it's just falling straight off. That's pretty horrible. I mean, look, they're just bent all sorts of ways. And the thing is, is, you know, the notch trees are stored, you know, j shoved in there pretty hard too, but they don't lose, you know, their... Uh, Wow, that's just pretty bad. I don't think these are salvageable, to be honest. I think these might just get cut up and used for bushes. <laughs> yeah, these are these are going to be used for some weird vegetation project in the future, something uh, something tentacly. All right, well, so I would not recommend these hecky trees. I will do a follow-up video at some point once I've contacted them to see if this is just a batch error. But at least this initial impression, I would not recommend this particular kit because we've got two of them here and unless let's actually even look and see if these are the same batch I wonder if it has a batch number on it somewhere this so that they doesn't just pour them all out hmm not seeing any oh hold on nope that's a that's an address I believe a German address of some sort I do not see a, oh wait, HK 1435, 1435, so that's the, that's actually the item number, not the batch number. Well, I will, uh, I will put in the, a comment in the, the liner notes once I've looked into this, because I'm actually going to call them right now after this video. So there's product review, notch brand trees, really awesome, especially these new, these new pines. I can't say better things about these trees. Hecky brand. Not impressed. I'm sorry. I, I'm a notch uh, person. I mean, the best thing I think I found is that the Hecky brand does have these littler trees uh, for 50 pieces. And, you know, we'll see if uh, if they have something more uh, viable for the, uh, for the notch ones, too. I've got to look into that. Anyway, take care, guys, and stay tuned for more cool stuff.